Ah, uh, wetness. It's sort of like the female version of hardness. It's seen as the ultimate goal, the testament to great sex and an indication that she is desirous of you. And unfortunately, it can be a little tricky. This video is all about how to get a girl wet. <laughs> Why is this? I, you watched my squirting video, I did the same thing. Wet, wet, wet. Wetness is part of a chain reaction in the female arousal system. I'm not gonna get into the anatomy because you don't need to know it in order to get a woman wet. Number one, start with her mind and seduce her mentally. Plant images, thoughts, and suggestions in her mind throughout the day or throughout the evening before you go to actually be intimate. Women's biggest sexual organ is their brain. That's a trope, but it's true. And so seducing her mentally will go a long way to getting her wet. Number two, touch her whole body. Go from the outside of her body towards the center line and then towards her genitals and nipples and other more sensitive spots. Trust me on this one, starting from the outside and working your way in is one of the best ways to slowly build up her arousal and get her super wet before you even go to touch her vulva. Number three, kiss her really deeply. I'm not just saying this, science has literally backed up that if you want those lips to open, you gotta get these lips to open. Kissing her deeply, passionately, making out with her can be, for many women, a quick route to arousal and wetness. Number four, place firm, flat pressure outside of her vulva. This is fun because you can do this without even needing to take her clothes off. Basically, what you're doing is you're stimulating the whole clit, the internal and the external parts of the clit with a flat hand against her whole vulva. It's very simple, it's exactly as I described it. Flat hand, you can press up as if my hand was coming up like between her legs, pressing up, and holding flat, moving back and forth, or giving her a sigh or something for her to grind on. Think of this as you being the surface for her to grind on. And I like this move because you can do this while you're flirting in the car on the way home from the date. Uh, if you're dancing, you can kind of offer her your thigh to grind on on the dance floor. This feels really good and it gets the whole network of the clitoris aroused, which is integral to female arousal and wetness. I'm gonna say wetness a hundred times. I'm gonna say wetness at the end of every tip, I think, so far. Number five, balance, tease, and attention. I got so excited I spit. Wetness. <laughs> balance, tease, and attention. Go for the target, back off and do something else. Go in, back off and do something else. Breathe and gently kiss on her clitoris and then move away and kiss and lick down her thigh before returning back and kissing like down the other thigh. Balancing spaciousness with stillness with attention is a recipe for wetness. Wetness. Number six, stimulate all of her tissue. That sounds so unsexy. Number six, stimulate all of her erotic zones with your mouth and hand. There are five different areas with erectile tissue on a woman's body. They are the clitoris at both sides of the vaginal opening, in between the vaginal canal and the rectum, and the G-spot. Stimulate all of them. Do not neglect any of them if you truly want to create wetness. Number seven. Seven is confirm for her that she is ready for penetration. Now the reason that I included this on here is because different women are gonna experience wetness differently. And you confirming with her that she's ready for you to penetrate her, for you to enter her, however sexy you wanna say it, is a huge turn on for the majority of us women. Now, if you two have a different arrangement, you're a little kinkier and you like to just go at it without asking or seeing anything, that's fine too. But I think that consent and respect for the majority of women make us feel safe. And when we feel safe, we can get wetter. Changed, I didn't say wetness on that one. All right, number eight. Eight is don't worry if she doesn't get wet naturally. Okay, 
Listen, I know I just gave you a step-by-step, but here's the thing. Many, many women, in fact, probably all women from time to time, suffer from something which is called arousal non-concordance. That just means that our brain and our body are not on the same page. Our brain is like really raring to go, turned on, horny, aroused, and body isn't completely there, or it doesn't produce wetness, or perhaps she's gone through menopause, or suffers from a different medical condition that decreases her potential for creating wetness. Women's bodies change literally every single day and throughout the month, and there's nothing wrong with you or her if she doesn't get wet naturally. This is why I recommend keeping a high quality water-based lubricant near the bed. Just to prove that it's near the bed. One of my all-time favorite water-based lubricants is this one by Royal, their premium lubricant. It's my favorite for so many reasons, Primarily that it's made out of natural ingredients and that it includes aloe, which is soothing and moisturizing. It's body safe, it's toy safe, it's condom safe, and it won't stain your sheets. Plus, it has a really, really great texture that actually makes it stay where you put it, but not so thick that it doesn't get super slick and isn't good for sex. This is the best. Royal's actually better known for their premium condoms, which are also amazing. They are vegan, they don't smell, they are made out of locally sourced ingredients, and they come in two sizes and multiple flavors. I'm a huge fan of these as well. And they make these amazing post-sex body wipes so that you don't have to run to the bathroom, although you should for UTI. If you're a woman or you have a vulva, do go to the bathroom immediately after sex to prevent a UTI. These things are amazing. They smell great, they're easy to use, they pack away nicely. They don't say post-sex wipe, I just said that. They just say body wipe. And they're super great to keep next to your bed so that you can freshen up immediately after sex. All of this is why I am so excited to announce that I have taken on the honorable, venerable position of clinical sexologist for Royal. And as a special gift to all of my viewers and subscribers, Royal is offering a discount on all of their products. It will be automatically applied to your cart when you check out at the link below. Thank you, Royal. You rock. I'm so grateful to be connected with you. I love your products, love your brand, and I'm so honored to get to represent you. Everyone, please do go check them out. At a minimum, make sure that you have a high quality water-based lubricant in bed, not in bed, but you know, near your bed. It can be in bed while you're having sex. Have a high quality water-based lubricant near your bed in case natural wetness doesn't happen. And it doesn't hurt to have one like Royal's Premium Lubricant, which is all natural and has aloe. And look at that. Oh, it's so good. I should mention it's also gluten-free and it is safe to ingest. I mean, not that you shouldn't probably coat your hands in lube and just lick them on YouTube. I actually kind of like that. Okay, well, that's, that question is solved. If you enjoyed this video, please give me one luby, sticky handed thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. <laughs> it just has like a really mild flavor. I kinda like it. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video and I will see you here next week.